Hello, Bad Bens, and welcome to another episode of Carl's Copters. Anyway, today we've got the Batmobile from Eagle Moss Collection. This is the Batmobile from Eagle Moss Collection. It's the same as the Batboat that's in the background, as you can see just here. We did the review on the Batboat. The reason why I did the review on the Batboat, as I said last time, it's because I'm going to build the full size one of these, and I'm just waiting for spring basically so we can uh, get stuck in, wait for parts. Uh, once I've got a few more parts, I'll start doing a run, uh, a run through of the parts. Sure about that. Anyway, that's the Batboat anyway. But today we're talking about the Batmobile today, the 1966 classic Batmobile that goes with this Batboat by Eagle Moss collection. Anyway, this is the case. Uh, lift the case off, and here we have it, the Batmobile, iconic 1966 Batmobile. Looking them absolutely maze balls. Nice glossy finish, and it's even got some bat computers at the background there. You can always take these off if you wanted to make a diorama. So I've unscrewed it because it came with that, and they're only stuck on by these little tabs, so you can really, really easy to pull off. I might do that at a later date, don't know. Anyway, this is it. This is the Batmobile, uh, 1966. Look how lovely this looks. I love the glossy, shiny work on it. Nothing works on this though, unfortunately. The doors don't open. And also I found that the wheels, they don't seem to turn around. Now I don't know whether it's because it's been screwed in into it or what, but I was just a little bit felt oh, disappointed, you know. I wanted the wheels to turn around at least. Uh, I tried to undo the screws, but the screw to see if I could make the wheels turn, but uh, it, it just wouldn't have it, so I didn't. I didn't bother I gave up on it. Anyway, let's have a quick look at this. It's a nice detailed model. And you can see the bat phone and you can see the like the gear shift or whatever and the uh, the bat lights and on it as well. It's really nice die cast metal. Uh, there's a lot of detail onto this as well with the bat symbols and even on the bat symbols see on the tires, which is a shame that the wheels don't turn around. I was like disappointed. Anyway, I can't dwell on that really. Uh, and it's got these uh, like exhaust things there that rockets I think fire out and if you look underneath here you can see that folks Bat one Gotham City now not many Batmobiles Have that on underneath and you've got the parachute shoots there and the jet thrust turbine whatever here uh, underneath uh, just a basic just a sh basic chassis uh, uh, Not much really to write home about there we can get a bit closer see there's nothing nothing to so we're not going to look at that really it's a bit boring but just the detail for me inside that's what i was uh, amazed by you even got the bat fire extinguisher and what have you there but it's just a nice cl looking classic cl uh, collectible car it's like a bat radar laser thing that they have because it really does look nice the paint works excellent but the only thing it let me down if they just made the doors open made the doors open and the wheels sort the wheels out it'd have been brilliant even put a little batman figure in it that'd be awesome but anyway you can't really dwell on that but when i take these um, away and stick them next to each other look how good these two look can you see that that's amazing i absolutely love these uh Corky do a version, if you're not English and you're from America or another part of the world, uh, there's a toy company in England called Corgi. And Corgi did the uh, Batmobile and the Batboat together. Um, I think it's Corgi 267 or something, I'm not too sure, you Google it or whatever. And you'll find on there, they're about the same sort of scale, maybe just a little bit bigger, and they go for absolute mega bucks. But the detail is unbelievable because they do the Batmobile and uh, they do the uh, Batboat, but they, I don't think they do them anymore. And uh, it even came with a trailer for the Batboat, and you could tow it around. And the Batmobile did things and all sorts of stuff, it even had. A little blade, I know it sounds dodgy, but it had the little blade that used to come out the nose here with the Batmobile. And you'd be able to cut like things, you know, like, well, it's supposed to cut like cables and stuff, or ram through stuff. And it had little rockets that fired off and all sorts, it was brilliant. But obviously, uh, I don't think they're allowed to make stuff like that anymore. But it's just amazing, just look at the detail, when they're both together, 
But when I do my Batman boat, I'm going to do it in black. Like I've shown you before on my pictures. I've got a little uh, little plan. I'm going to show you this now, folks. This is the plan. Look at the plan. Oh, that black splodge there. I'm testing paint at the moment for the, uh, the bat boat. And this is the bat boat plan. This is what it's going to look like in black. This, I think this is the TV series version and at the back there, massive list and uh, a few little ideas sketched on massive list of what what it's all about what I need and stuff like that so I'm getting there but obviously because winter's here uh, it's rubbish the weather so this is the Batmobile from Eagle Moss looking very nice I'm thinking to get myself another Batmobile because I just like the look of it. I think this is probably the best Batmobile. You always say the first of everything's the best. And to me, the first Batmobile is definitely the best because I think it's got that classic look. It's a lovely look. And uh, uh, sometimes you have to go a bit retro, I think, these days because everything's all sort of bubbly, whereas this isn't. Anyway, look at the radar. And the Batman controls, you could use these yourself, take them off, make a little, tart them up a little bit, give them a bit of a, a better look. And uh, they'll look good, those, in your Batcave. Not much to write on about those, but they're there. Just add that little bit of extra, don't they, I suppose. So, this is Carl's Copters, folks, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in the Batman uh, stuff, don't forget to subscribe and shortly get Christmas and New Year out of the way and then I'll start work then on the full size Batman boat I'll show you how it's made don't you worry about that folks and we're going to enjoy it so if I don't see it before then well I might do I don't know we'll, all, we'll have to see but if I don't see it before then have a great Christmas and don't forget Batman stuff it's happening thanks very much folks